All right, I'm hoping you've seen the introduction to the completing the square video. So now I'm going to show you how to take like a quadratic and complete the square for it. So the first thing really to make sure you're happy with is, look, what does that even mean to complete the square? You know, to factorize, you knew you were going to stick it into those double brackets. Well, complete the square is this pretty much. It's like you basically do x plus a number squared, and then you add, or obviously minus, if this is negative, um, another number, and make it just equal to that. So again, very, very simple very simple. So the first thing you need to do is choose your value of p. Now here's how it always works. p is always, and I mean always, half of the number in front of your x. Can you see a number here is minus 6. So your p is going to be minus 3. So if you just kind of imagine that if I put x plus minus 3 in that bracket, can you see that's going to actually just become x minus 3 squared. So, an easier way of, you know, a bit of a sloppy way, but you can use it because it's easy on completing the square. It's just, you know, if you want to start off, do x, then whatever sign's here, then half of whatever's here, right, squared. And that's how you start off every single time, right? Does, so, basically, if there's a plus here, put a plus there. If there's a negative here, put a negative here. Um, and then just do half of that. So why? Why is that the case? Because here, look, if I multiply that out and do that on the side anyway, yeah? Um, I'll do it for you. You will get x squared minus 6x plus 9. The most important thing about this is by picking the number which is half of that, can you see already? Because remember, we're trying to rewrite this like that. So by picking the number by half already, do you see our x squares match and our minus 6x six six matches? So really the final thing to do is it's like this. So we picked that by the way. Yeah, so we've already done the first step. Um, the second thing to do is, do you notice But this has given us a plus 9 and we need a plus 5. So the last thing you have to do is just minus 4 from here, right? Because here, look, if this thing equals that, then if you minus 4 from it, can you see that's just basically going to cancel to a plus 5? So that literally is it. If you want to complete the square for this, it's um, x minus 3 squared minus 4. Um, you can even, if you like, you know, some people even like want to make their lives even easier than that. And if you don't even want to think about what you need to adjust by, because sometimes, I don't know, negatives confuse a few people, here's a really kind of, well, it's quite, quite a smart way of doing it. So basically, look, you get to this stage, yeah? Let's get rid of that one as well. So you know that this has given you that. Wait, let me clean some of this up. So you know you've got to this stage. So now, here's the deal. You know the number on the end, yeah? It's always going to be this number squared. And it doesn't matter. Because imagine, look, imagine if x plus 3 squared. That would give you x squared plus 6x. It would still give you plus 9. Because minus 3 times minus 3 is plus 9. And plus 3 times plus 3 is plus 9. So what you can do, in a way is you can actually start off by taking away 9 from here. Because what you're doing, this is like the first step, now you're taking away 9. So what you've done is you've cancelled out that number in the first place. And remember, the whole point of this is your first two things match. Then what you can do, so that taking away that 9 got rid of any number on the end. So we're at this stage right now. So then what you do is you add on the number which you do want, plus 5. And then... Just obviously simplify this bit, minus 9 plus 5, so minus uh, 4, minus 4. And that's literally it, so that's what it is. So listen, so let's shoot P in, P is always just going to be half of that, also the same sign. Then take away, here's what I said, the reason I say minus P squared 
is I'm like, it doesn't matter if this is a plus or minus, just take away whatever that is squared, because essentially you're getting rid of that little number on the end, and then just add on the final number, that little number which you want, that final number, and you're done. And obviously simplify the number, because you don't want two numbers at the end of it. And easy as that. So let's go through a few examples. And I do it both ways. The ones where you can figure out, look, you should have just added this to that. Or you can literally run through it step by step, like a little robot. Alright, so you need to do that. So the first thing, because that's a plus, that's going to be a plus, And you always do half of that. Squared. Now if you multiply that out, hopefully you understand that's x squared. You're going to get, and do this on the side if you don't understand why, you're going to get that 10x. Whenever you put half the number of that is, because you almost do like that and then that. Yeah, so you do x times 5 and you do 5 times x. Add those together. That's why doing half of that number always gives you that. And then unfortunately you've got a plus 25. So the first thing you want to do is, well, no, you've got two options from this stage. You can either use your brain and say that, look, I need 21, but I've got 25, so, oh, I still need to take 4 away. So that's, uh, that's good enough, and it's not particularly difficult. Otherwise, if you don't want to even think about it, you can just go there, oh, well, I know there's going to be a 25 on the end. So you're like, you know what, I'm going to get rid of that 25, I don't want it. That will make that, so this is what's happening here. Now you've got rid of it. Now, now you're at this stage. So, you know, these are always matching anyway. And then you're like, but I need a plus 21. So you put that there. Okay? And now, you put a plus 21. So you make a balance like that. It's almost like you pick this, which makes your first two terms the same. Then you take away the little, whatever square you're going to get of this, that extra number. And then you add on what you want. So minus 25 plus 21 is 4 as well. Minus 4. So there you go, that's done as well. And let's go for a few more. Alright, x squared minus 4x minus 1. So let's start off with x minus 2 squared. Um, Alright, if you common sense way, that's going to multiply out. Just know as well, it's going to multiply out to give you x squared minus 4x. Uh, plus 4, that one's got a, so this is why some people um, like to do it this kind of like, you know, way. You've got plus 4, you need a minus 1. Some people, I don't know, that messes them up and they think, oh, do I need to minus 3? Clearly not. If you've got plus 4, then taking away 4 will take you to 0. So you need to take one more away. So this should be a minus 5, right? So that's if you do the common sense way. Don't want to do the common sense way, this is what you do. So, alright, cool, I've done that. My first two ones match anyway. So now I'm going to get rid of that 4, which pops out when I do that. And now I'm going to uh, take away the 1. And remember, you've got to take away 1. So that taking away that minus 4 cancels that. You see, it cancels that one away. Um, and then you've got to put that on. This is a minus 1, so you've got to do that. Notice that it's minus 5. So... The way to complete the square for this quadratic is that. Should I do another one? Right, one more. And it's very simple. Very, very simple stuff. Uh, all, right, this, all right, this is a good one. So, can you see it's really easy? Um, as long as this number is even. Because remember, you're always going to be halving that number. So if you've got 10, it goes nicely to 5. If you've got 20, it goes nicely to 10. Uh, 8 goes nicely to 4. But when you have an odd number, it's a little bit more fiddly. Not much. It's just like fractions come in. So what's half of 9? Uh, 4.5. But realistically, look. Use a fraction. Make your life much easier. Uh, so look. I guess I'll do this one in full. So this one will give you x squared... This one gives you plus 9 over 2x. This one will also give you the same thing. And that one, yeah, if you're unsure what 9 over 2 times 9 over 2 is, shame on you, because it's just an easy fraction multiplication. It's 81 over 4. You can leave it like that. Right? 
So now look, it is a little bit annoying. Uh, this is why I actually prefer to write out this step because it's a little bit difficult to say, right? It's like I've got 81 over 4 and I need 14. I mean, it's doable. I mean, there's quite a few ways. You, I mean, if you kind of know that that's uh, 20.25, then you could kind of work out that you need to take away. What would you need to take away? 5.75? Is that correct? It's not even correct. Yeah, you need to take away 6.25. So, you know, but it's fiddly, right? So here's what you do. Start off with x plus 9 over 2 squared. Take away that 81 over 4 which pops up. And then add on the 14 which you want. Much easier. Now, if you're still wondering how do you do that, again, very easy. You're trying to do, 14, you're trying to do 14 minus 81 over 4. Remember, I just kind of swapped the order around because that's a minus... Right, that's the minus, that's the plus. Uh, what you have to do, you've got to get a common denominator. So you've got to multiply that by 4, which is 56 over 4. Remember, the first thing you do is change that to 14 over 1, and then you times top and bottom by 4. That should make good sense to you. 4. What does that equal? That's going to equal 20, that's going to equal uh, minus 25 over 4. Does that make sense? So, yeah, the completed square version is x plus 9 over 2 squared minus 25 over 4. Right? Uh, so, the steps are exactly the same. It's just that sometimes, you know, if this is an even number, it's a little bit more of a headache. So, here's what I recommend. I actually think this is probably the easiest way of solving a quadratic as long as the number in front of the x squared is a 1 and the number in front of, you know, the x is an even. Yeah? I don't think there's any... I think this is the best way when that happens. If not, though, don't use this one unless you're forced because sometimes they might say solve by completing the square. If that happens, you've got no choice. You've got to do what you've got to do. Um, so yeah, okay, so that should kind of cover everything. Have a little bit of a practice and all that, and take you to the final video for quadratics.